So if this is your first time here, where you been? Where you been? You thought those other guys were gonna help you? They ain't there for you. I'm here for you. Welcome back to the Black Ice. Now, all the painstaking effort of building these builds, trying them out, trying to figure out what works, having multiple people come back in and forth with chats, trying to have them shoot like a thousand shots at a time. All the painstaking hard work is over. So if this is your first time here, where you been? Where you been? You thought those other guys were going to help you? They ain't there for you. I'm here for you. Welcome to the Black So we're doing builds and we're going to do builds a little different this year because I think every build is usable. It's just about how you play the game, right? Now, because I said that, the hybrid build is the best game in the game to use. The hybrid build is not the build I'm going to be using simply because it doesn't fit my play style and all the other ones I can get to fit my play style. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you um, each build the best way I think you should set up the build just based on the way the game plays. Um, and then we're going to do a live stream the day that these videos record. We're going to stream that night so you can see that build playing in games. That way you can make your own decisions and see how it works. Now, there's no guarantee it's going to have a good night, but I'm going to use it so that you see it. So, this is the Black Ice. Welcome. Right, let's get into it. You see it right here. It's the Butterfly build. It is technically my favorite build right now just because of what it does, um, the way it plays. Um, so, 6'5". Six, six I don't think you should go lower than 6'2". I mean, 6'3". Even 6'3 is kind of, you know. I wouldn't use it just simply because you need that extra stretch. Uh, so 6.5 is where it is. Weight only dictates um, rebound control for me. So weight does because all this stuff that weight affects, you can manipulate with stats. So weight doesn't really matter. It's all about what you're trying to attain. Um, no timer. I think it's the best one to have on a butterfly simply because the butterfly effect on a butterfly seems to be, you know, oxymoronic to me and it doesn't work the same as it did last year butterfly helped you five hole wise and it helped you drop down quicker and it just it helped you while you were in butterfly making saves this year it seems like it only helps you in going left and right and when you're moving too much out of position it helps you save shots that are going that you were going in the opposite direction of yeah that's fantastic and all but i don't really need that for me so i think the one timer that actually works this year is the best one to have on post to post. It's the most, it's the weakest one. It doesn't highlight that much. And I don't really know. I've only seen it go into effect a minimal amount compared to all the other ones. Um, if I knew when I was going to be facing 15 shots, I would use dialed in, but you have no clue when you're going to be facing 15 shots. So it's a hard thing to just equip and hope you're going to be fa facing 15 shots. So I think, um, no timer is the best sponge is not for a butterfly i wouldn't touch sponge on a butterfly because it puts the rebounds right where the skaters are and if you try to then go get it you do the hungry hungry hippo and you're stuck anyway i i don't want rebounds that are far away from me to the skater if it's gonna be far it's got to be really far if it's gonna be close it's got to be really close um so Let's go down to the, the attributes now. Um, like I said, this game works in increments, right? So when, you get, when you're at 75, you're going to the next level. You're at 80, you're going to the next level. When you're at 90, you're going to the next level. Incrementally, it's impossible for them to dictate in between time how 92 and 93 changes your guy in any aspect of these stats. It's impossible for the game to dictate that. Um, so I have these 91, 91, 88, um, simply because I think if you get to 90, you're at the next level. And one over 90 is the level after that. In between 94 and 91, you can't tell me that there is no difference in there. So there's no point in going 92, 93, even 94. There's no point in doing that. So we keep it there. Um, glove high. This is the one I wish I could make more. I wish I could get this to 90, but I cannot. 
So this is where you might pause a little bit on this build, but it hasn't affected me enough for me to say, you know, I can't use this build or this build shouldn't be it. I would love to get this to 90, but I cannot simply because of what I think is important in these builds. So therefore I have to leave it here. Um, this is where I think the game is won and lost. Speed is tremendously important in this game this year. Tremendously important. Speed, I think if you gave me a choice of anything on a build, it would be purely speed and only speed speed when it comes to goalie. So speed, I have to max out. I have to try to max out. And this is why you see the build the way it is. Agility, I have never liked agility. Agility is one of those things that is installed in the game basically for uh, computer goalies and for terrible goalies. Um, agility doesn't affect the way you move in that. It affects your ability to change directions or if you messed up, quickly get back. I'm not for it. If I made the wrong decision, then I get punished for it because agility doesn't help me. It hurts me more than it helps me because when they're... When, when, the puck is a rebound close or they get the puck in close and the player pauses and I'm trying to make a decision. Agility makes me move, 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 move. Yeah, I'm guessing at that point. And, and if he shoots in any direction based and I'm going in the wrong one, it just hurts me. I'd rather just be still, be calm, just be right there. Think of agility as this, right? And I often say agility is the one stat that differentiate computers from humans right so think about the skaters right if you're going to pick up a puck as a skater right but your your computer is going to pick up the puck and they're going through the animations of picking up the puck and you poke check you are no longer going to pick up the puck because the computer is like all right you want to do this this is what i'm going to do i am not going to tell you what to do you're telling me what to do, so I'm not going to pick up the puck. So agility is the is, is the equivalent of when your player is about to pick up the puck and you poke check. It's like you are really hindering the computer's ability to then do something in those instances because it's like, okay, I want to make a save, but you're still moving your guy. So it's like that kind of stuff is I've always thought agility was that. So it's not for me. And it doesn't affect your guy moving around in, in that you can set up just as well. But I'm the type of player that sets up and likes my positioning and times and positions. So if you're a per type of person that doesn't do positioning well, by all means, go higher in your agility. But I'd say it's going to cost you more than it, it helps you. Um, rebounds. I'm going to say this. 81 is the perfect rebound control for a butterfly goalie the perfect rebound control it doesn't leave shots far away it doesn't um put the rebound so close that the the other team can get it and it's just per because when you have higher um rebound ability it leaves the puck right there with the idea that you can then collect it as a human goalie or as the computer will then be able to connect, collect it because it's right there and you can do the hungry, hungry hippo quickly. It does not work that way with high rebound control for some reason. It's bad. And I'm telling you, 81 is the perfect, and I mean perfect rebound control. And this is something I work on a lot. The perfect rebound control for a butterfly goalie. Um, it changes, depends on the build. So you won't hear me say 81 is the perfect rebound control for any other build. 81 is perfect for vision is the second most important thing on any build vision is the most the second most important uh aside from speed on any build because in this game you if you will see how much your goalie looks around and tries to look around screens and look around bodies it, it goal, goalies didn't do that last year or in any other games before this so this is highly important, especially for a butterfly goalie when it's not their nature to be able to see around screens, etc. Breakaways, I just have breakaways there because A, I couldn't, I recovery, I don't think recovery matters. There's less time where you get stuck in shot animations this year and you just go through a recovery just goes, it just works 
every build that I have used, no matter what the recovery has been, he's recovered the same. There may be one or two times every like fifth game where I get caught in like one of those animations where he does the, the pad stack and flip around himself and then he gets stuck. Recovery then helps me get out of that quicker, but that doesn't happen frequently. Now I have to put 88 on um, recovery simply because I can't get the speed boost, the, the reflex speed um, boost unless I have 88 recovery. So I have to put it on recovery. Otherwise I wouldn't use it. I want the speed boost to get my guy over 91 speed. Otherwise I wouldn't use um, recovery. These secondary traits, I do not know if they really do that much. I can't tell you that they do that much because there's no way to really judge it or study it or even know. So these are just there because a, this is the way I built my guy and these are the traits that are available and I like it. And I, I purposely built it if they do work to make sure I get x-ray as one of my perk for the butterfly. Like I said, vision, I'm, I'm boosting it a lot with the butterfly. So these, I can't tell you if they work. So these I leave for last and I build my guys without these in here because I don't want to think that they do anything. If they don't do do something, then it helps me in whatever it is I'm already doing. So these, I don't know if they work or not, but they're built to help the build that I've already built. So this is the build. You'll see it tonight on stream. Um, I think it's a very, very effective build. Uh, one of my favorites so far, this and stand up, I'll switch between each of them throughout the year. And that's purely based on agility. Um, I like to knock it down as much as I can. So I like to be in more of a control. So this is the butterfly build. You guys do with it as you wish, but I am really confident in this, these builds this year. This isn't just a, Hey, this is the way I think it is. No, I am ridiculously confident in these builds this year. Uh, you'll see it on stream. I appreciate you guys joining me. Peace.